Hi, and welcome to a short demo of clustering features now available in Milestone 2 of Glassfish 3.1. This is ongoing work, so if you're looking for a stable product, please consider using Glassfish 2.1.1. This demo shows a cluster instance lifecycle management such as remote creation and startup of instances or even entire clusters. The second part of the demo shows the deployment across a cluster of EAR and WAR applications. In this demo, we'll use three separate machines, one DAS, the domain admin server, and two instances, I1 and I2, forming the cluster C1. Uh, the admin server communicates with instance servers using SSH key authentication, similar to how Hudson or Hadoop clusters are set up. So the first thing we want to do here is create a cluster, uh, which we call C1. Then we will actually remotely uh, create using uh, the create node SSH command on machine called interop.sfbay a node called N1 um, and this is um, where we uh, have installed Glassfish previously and similarly we create a second node on a different machine so really we'll, we'll never have to log into those machines the only thing we have done previously is to start the domain and install the bits which is as simple as unzipping a an archive on those remote machines. So listing the nodes, we now have the local host, that's the admin server, as well as N1 and N2, the remote nodes. If we look at domain.xml here, uh, we see that a couple of nodes have been added uh, with the uh, attributes that we've just filed in. Uh, the next thing we will do is create an instance um, and we will associate that instance with cluster C1 and indicate that this lives on node N1. An instance is called I1. So similarly, we have instance 2, which is also part of cluster C1, but lives on N2. And now both instances are there, but they're not running. And again, if we look at domain.xml, now we have references to those two instances that create, um, that are part of cluster C1. Now we could individually start a given instance simply by issuing that command start instance i1 um, and then if we list we see that there's one running and one that is not running and this is for the entire cluster so then we can stop instance i1 and decide that we'd rather start the entire cluster and we can do this in verbose mode and this can take a little while so uh, we skip ahead here and see that we uh, have actually started instance 1 and 2 and both are running. So we can now go to port 28080 on both of these machines, that's uh, i1 and i2, and see that we have the welcome page for both of them. Now the next step is to actually deploy something. So we deploy using the dash dash target c1, remember c1 is the cluster name, and a simple ear file. And uh, this has been deployed to um, interrupt.sfbay, that's one of the nodes, and geralt.sfbay as well. So we can hit both of those um, URLs and the application is on both. But if we try to go to pigal.sfbay, which is the actual admin server, it's not there, and rightly so. This is only the admin server, so that's a dedicated instance for uh, administrating a Glassfish cluster. So the next thing we might want to do is uh, show the component status for uh, cluster C1 for the application stateless simple which we've just deployed. So we see that it is uh, there and it's enabled. So we can uh, disable a stateless simple uh, on cluster C1 and check that this has actually been disabled. So we're no longer able to access this. So we can enable, oops, enable, so see uh, it offers you the closest match there and enable this again and see that it's back to enable then uh, it can uh, again be accessed. Now you can list the components and see that we have an application that uses three uh, containers, ear, JB, and web and we can decide to deploy another application which this time is a WAR file and if we issue uh, the same command we see that there's a second application which happens to be using just the web container if we have the uh, verbose command, we see that both are enabled. And finally, we can undeploy applications from cluster C1, say the web apps dash simple application. 
um, and see that there's only one left, the original one we've deployed, and we can undeploy that one as well from cluster C1. And now there's nothing left to list. You can see that we still have two instances running, and to close this demo, we will actually stop the cluster C1. So this is uh, still early days, so comments are more than welcome. Please visit classfish.org and try it out for yourself. Thanks for watching this demo.